Islanders, my name is Alexa Height. I am the Scholarly Communication Librarian here at Bell Library at TAMU CC. And uh, today I'm going to give a brief overview of what scholarly communication is and what our um, services are for scholarly communication. So to get started, I'd like to direct you to our library's homepage, library.tamucc.edu. And if you go over to the um, green bar that's at the top and to the right, you see research and help. And if you go down, you can go to scholarly communications. So this is a collection of our web pages that kind of gives a brief overview of what Scholcom is, as I like to call scholarly communication, and um, what our services are. So scholarly communication is the combined effort to produce, publish, and reuse scholarship and research. Our goal here at Bell Library is to continue to support all islanders in this area. We offer workshops throughout the semester to help maximize efforts in exposing Islander work and increasing its impact. Our workshop topics include managing online research presence, citation management tools and tips, and formatting articles for publication and finding a publisher for your work. We can consult on questions about using copyrighted materials in scholarship and in the classroom, and questions about retaining rights to Islander work in order to share and use them freely. We can also consult on open access and open licensing for creating new and existing creative works. We can also help you with research data management, including where to store and share research data. We also offer the institutional repository as an open platform for sharing the research outputs of the university. We can host open access versions of Islander work so that they persist online and are available for access to the public. So as you can see, we have several pages that go over different aspects of scholarly communication. Now I'm going to direct your attention to another place where you can find more information on scholarly communication. If we go back to the library's homepage, we just click on Mary and Jeff Bell Library in that green bar. And under our quick search bar, we have research guides. So research guides are like many websites that librarians have put together. Sometimes they're created for a specific class or on a specific subject, like chemistry, for example. Um, but if we scroll down, you can also see our collection of guides on scholarly communication. So like I said, we can go more in depth on copyright and fair use, open access, um, ORCID is a way to identify authors, distinguish authors from each other. And then, of course, um, as I mentioned, research data management and the repository. So if you have questions or want to learn more about things related to scholarly communication, there are two places to find information. I'd like to show you one other thing related to scholarly communication, which is the repository that we keep discussing. So if I go here to MUCC repository, this kind of gives an introduction to the repository and gives more information on what things can be included. You can go directly to the TAMUCC repository. And here you can see a collection of various things. We do organize um, our works by the colleges as well as our research centers. We also have this collection of TMUCC theses, dissertations, and graduate projects. And of course, we also have special collections and archives, so digital, digital objects that are in our special collections and archives collections. Um, you can see what's recently added. And you can also um, go into a certain college and look at what was recently added there as well. And again, you can find this through the research guide, but you can also, if you go back to our library homepage, you see Mary and Jeff Bell Library. If you go to find materials, um, it's the last, last item on that list, and that will take you to the repository. Um, one more thing, last thing I'm going to leave you with, I'm going to go back to our library homepage, library.tmucc.edu. You can get in touch with the library here in this Ask Us section. You can also um, find a librarian. And I am the, in addition to being the scholarly communication librarian, I am 
um, a liaison to the College of Science and Engineering. My contact information is on this page. So if you have any questions regarding copyright or anything else to do with scholarly communication, um, if you can't find the answer on any of those places that I showed you, um, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Um, I'm available by email m most, most weeks, Monday through Friday, so don't hesitate to reach out. Um, or you can give me a call on my office number as well. Thank you.